welcome again to a new class and to a new week. Yes, are you ready to have fun, to learn, to sing, and to talk to me through the video? Good, guys. Let's begin singing a song, okay? Come on. Good? I am fine, I am great, I am fine, I'm just great. I am fine, I am great, I'm very well today. Great! Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you today? I am hungry, I am tired. I am hungry and I am tired. I am hungry, I am tired. I am not so good today. Oh, well I hope you feel better soon. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm very well today. Well done, guys. Perfect. Now, let's begin talking about feelings. How do you feel today? Do you feel happy? Really happy? Yes! Or maybe you're not feeling so happy and you're feeling kind of sad. Yes. Or maybe you are feeling not too good. Mm. You're feeling a little bit mad. <gasps> yes! Tell me how you're feeling. Use emojis to tell me if you're happy, if you're excited, if you're being bored. Tell me how you feel. Good? Excellent. So now, let's talk about the weather. Who can tell me? How was the weather? Look through the window. Mm, I think it's a snowy. <gasps> no? You guys tell me, how's the weather? Exactly, today's weather is sunny and it's getting warm and then hot, right? Yes. Okay, now that we're ready to review the feelings, the weather, how about we talk about the days of the week? Help me out and tell me what day is today. Think about it. Yesterday was Sunday. So today should be, what day? Mm -hmm. Good. So today is Monday. So keeping on mind that yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday, tomorrow will be? Great. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Excellent, guys. How about we review new vocabulary words? Because today's lesson is going to be full of this theme, community helpers. So today we're going to learn about community helpers, where they work, and what type of work they develop. Are you ready? Cool. Come on and follow me. Okay guys, let's get ready. To begin with the activity, I'm going to introduce the new vocabulary word. These words are related to today's lesson. Are you ready? Let's begin. He is a police officer. Police officer. Good job. Next, I have the firefighter. What did I say? Firefighter. Then, he is nurse. 
nurse. Then I have the veterinarian. She is a veterinarian. Perfect. Then we have a doctor. She is a doctor. Then we have the mail carrier. Mail carrier. Good job. Now we have the dentist. 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 Perfect. Pilot. Pilot. Well done, guys. Excellent. Remember, once in a while, you need to study the vocabulary. Okay? Let's work with community helpers. But this time, I'm going to show you the community helpers that I made. You can make them in your house if you want to. But it's not necessary, okay? I use some flower balloons with different colors, paper and foamy markers and stickers for the eye. Okay? Good. So this community helper, it's what is it? What do you think it's? Yes, he's a police officer. Can you see his badge? Good. And then, coming up, it's the veterinarian. She is a veterinarian. She has a card for the dog to write information about the pets. And look, she has this little gift. Want to see what's inside? Maybe I already show you. <laughs> So, I have a little puppy, another, oops, another puppy, can you see it? She has the puppies and a little vending to do something and help the puppy to feel better. Good. And coming up, it's the nurse. It has a needle with a thermometer. Good. Then I have a happy mail carrier. Yes, I'm going to take the ankle cards to the children. Good. And then I have a happy pilot. Can you see him? He's gonna take a plane and fly it away. Now I have my firefighter. He is a firefighter. Where is the fire? See? And then, what do you think she is? Yes, she's a dentist. Perfect. Now, coming up, comes, where is she? Can you tell? Of course. Let me hold it so you can see the stethoscope. She's a doctor. And it's a she because she has long hair. You see? It's a doctor. And this little guy, he's no... He's not on the vocabulary word, but I wanted to show you. He is a chap, yes, coming out of the zoo. Mm hmm Very good. Okay. So, to work on your book, I need you to go to the yellow section, page 50. It's not 15, guys. It's 50. It's a 5 and a 0. Yellow section page 50. Ready? Good job. Okay, guys. Once you have the yellow section open in your book in page 50, I need you to look at the picture. We have eight different community helpers. Can you see them? Good. So now I need you to look at the first 
could mean their helper. She is a firefighter. Good. Can you see it all? The custom has the suit, the yellow suit, and the helmet. But look at the helmet. Something's missing. What color is it? Exactly, it's white. That means you need to color it. Okay? Good. Next, we have another community helper. He's holding a pet on his hands. So he's a veterinarian. Perfect. So now his hair is white. That means you need to color his hair. Next, we got the pilot. And all this suit, it's all nice, black and red. So you need to color the hat according to the pilot's suit. Ready? And then we have the nurse. I know the nurse have the dress or the suit white. You can color if you need to. And then we have the mail carrier. Once again, her hat is white, so color the hat. Then we have the dentist, and his shirt is white, so you need to color his shirt. Then we have the police officer and his hat with his badge on the top, or the seal, it's white. Can you color it according to the, to the police officer's suit? Perfect. Then we have the doctor. And the doctor's hair is white. That means you need to color it too. Okay? To complete this activity, I need you to circle what will you like to be when you grow up? Your fight, a pilot, a nurse, pick any of these community helpers that you would like, would like to be when you grow up and circle it. Then, write your name and date on the top of the book page, and that's it. Remember to take a picture and send it to me, okay? Good job, guys. Okay, guys, now I'm gonna tell you a story. These four community helpers, they are lost. They they don't know where they work. They do know what they type of work they develop and can describe themselves, but they don't know where they work. So help me out to take them to the corresponding place. Can you? Good. We're going to begin with this little black guy. Okay. So I am a pilot. I fly airplanes. Whenever people want to go far, I take them. Where does he work? Does he work in the post office and the police station? On the restaurant or in the airport? Think about it. Let's go with the next community helper. Hi, I am a chef. I make good food, soup, spaghetti, salad, all kind of good and delicious food. Where do you think he works? On the airport, restaurant, post office, or police station? Think about it, guys. Next, we have this guy. Hi, my name is Orange. I am a mail carrier. Whenever you send a letter to a friend or relative, a family member, I take them from the post office to your house. Where do you think he works? In the post office, police station, 
restaurant or airport. Now, we have this little guy. Hi, I am a police officer. When there is a robbery, I take the robber and put him in jail. Where do you think he works? In the police station, post office, restaurant, or airport? Let's begin with the pilot. Where does he work? Post office, restaurant, or airport? Let me take him to the right place. Yes! He works in the airport. Now let's take this little guy to his place. Where does he work? Post office or restaurant? Exactly! He works in the restaurant. Now we have this little guy. Where does he work? He's a mail carrier. Does he work in the restaurant with the chef? Or in the post office? Exactly! He works in the post office. And the last little guy, he's a police officer. So does he work together with the pilot? Or all the way to the police station? Exactly! He works in the police station. Now they can go to their work. Good job, guys! Okay, guys, now I'm going to ask you to go to the yellow section, page 15. Yellow section, page 51. Sorry, it's a 51 page. Okay, good job. Now that you have the book open on the yellow section, page 51, I need you to look at the picture. We have four pictures on the top and then four pictures from different workplaces in the bottom. The first four pictures are a firefighter, a chef, a pilot, and a doctor. Well done, guys. So now I'm gonna ask you to make a line from the road on the top to the road in the bottom. Let's review the bottom part, the four different places. We have a hospital, then we have a plane cabin, then we have a fire station, then we have a restaurant. Where does the firefighter work? In the hospital or the fire station? Excellent! So make the line from the firefighter to the fire station. Then we have the chef. Make a line from the chef to the hospital? No! To the restaurant. Good job, guys! Then we have the pilot. Where does he work? And the airport? Inside an airplane? Or in the hospital? Exactly, he works in the airport, flying planes. Well done, guys. Now, the last picture, we have a doctor. Where does she work? Exactly, she works in the hospital. Good job, guys. Now, to complete the page, I need you to write your name and complete date using the corresponding colors. And remember, take the picture and send it to me. Well done, guys. Good job. Do you remember what we learned today? Yes, we talk about community helpers, how they are, what type of work they develop, and where they work. Good job. And also, you help me to take the community helpers that were lost and they didn't remember where to go to work. Good job, guys. Excellent. So now let's finish the class singing a song. Are you ready?
Okay, I'm gonna leave the video for you so you can dance. Good job. Don't forget to keep watching. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. The time of my life and I never felt this way before and I swear this is true and I owe it all to you oh, oh I had the time of my life and I never felt this way before and I swear this is true and I owe Dirty bit.